Hey everybody, the transfer window is over, but the football news doesn't stop for a moment. Leave a like for the new episode and let's get the show on the pitch. Chelsea have agreed terms to extend the contract of Nicolas Jackson until the summer of 2033. Kylian Mbappe netted his first goal in La Liga. The French superstar made a brace against Real Betis. Former Manchester United defender Chris Smalling leaves AS Roma to join Saudi Arabia's Al Fayha. Bayer Leverkusen suffered its first defeat in domestic tournament since May 27, 2023. Chabi Alonso's team was beaten by RB Leipzig. Erling Haaland scored his eighth hat trick in the Premier League. He's only behind Robbie Fowler, Alan Shearer, and Sergio Aguero. It takes Erling an advantage of 8.6 games to complete a hat trick. The project here is extremely exciting. This is an ambitious club. I'm an ambitious player. I will sacrifice and give everything for my teammates. Together, we'll fight to win trophies and reach the level where United deserve to be," Manuel Ugarte said. Newcastle United right-back Kieran Trippier is close to joining Turkish Super League side Eyüp Spor, coached by Arda Turan. Como have omitted Rafael Varane from their Serie A squad list for the season due to his serious injury. According to Gianluca Di Marzio, the club is considering terminating the contract with the Frenchman. Former Atletico Madrid defender Mario Hermoso will join AS Roma as a free agent. He is expected to pen a four-year contract with Gialorossi. Former Cardiff City, Leicester City, Leeds United and Ivory Coast defender Suleiman Bamba has died at the age of 39 after suffering a heart attack. He was the head coach of Adana Spor. Benfica have sold their striker Marcos Leonardo to Al Hilal for 40 million euros. He joined the Eagles in the last winter. Behind Man City, we have won the most trophies over the last two years, so we've performed better than anyone else. That's the reality. Those are the facts. This year we want to win trophies and I'm quite confident about it," Eric Den Haag said. Romelu Lukaku scored a goal in his debut appearance for Napoli. The Belgian equalized the score against Parma. Defender Kurt Zuma leaves West Ham United and joins Saudi Pro League newcomers Al Oroba on a season-long loan. Mohamed Salah has scored seven goals in seven appearances at Old Trafford in the Premier League, more than any other visiting player. Napoli newcomer David Neres had his watch and other personal belongings robbed at gunpoint by two men who smashed a window in the SUV he was leaving the stadium in. Striker David Datra Fafana will leave Chelsea this summer. Clubs from Greece and Turkey, where the transfer window is still open, are interested in his services. Rafinha became the second Brazilian in the century to score a hat-trick and deliver an assist in a single La Liga fixture for Barca. The first was Neymar. Arnes Lott is the first Liverpool coach in 88 years to win on his league debut at Old Trafford. Roger Schmidt has been sacked as head coach of Portugal's Benfica following a poor start to the season. The club has collected seven points in four opening games. Mason Greenwood scored in his third consecutive Liga 1 appearance for Olympique Marseille. He backed the brace against Toulouse. Chelsea icon William, who left Fulham as a free agent, will soon sign a contract with Olympiacos. Thomas Müller has become the record holder for the number of matches played for Bayern Munich. The legendary attacker recorded his 710th appearance for Diraten. Right-back Isaac Abore has switched from Manchester City to Benfica on loan. You could have won 5 or 6 0. No. Virgil van Dijk replied, We should have. We dominated and should have scored more. But yes, winning 3 0 no is a big improvement. Memphis Depay is getting closer to joining Sevilla. He is currently a free agent. Paulo Fonseca could be sacked by AC Milan if he doesn't improve his result in the upcoming month. This is not Barcelona anymore, but Bayerlona. Hansi Flick's men simply blew Valladolid out of the way thanks to a hat-trick from Rafinha, as well as goals from Lewandowski, Kunde, Olmo and Ferran Torres. Flick has not changed his ways. The reaction he gave to the seventh goal is iconic. Real Madrid also managed to win their game, but that was still pretty hard to do. 
In the first half, Madrid created only a few chances, but at the beginning of the second half, Federico Valverde's brilliant backheel pass to Mbappe broke the deadlock, allowing Kylian to score his debut goal in La Liga. He then converted a penalty kick. Credits to Vinicius Jr. today. Vini has been very unselfish. He left the penalty to Mbappe. Their relationship is good. I like it. Fabrizio Romano quoted Ancelotti as saying, Holland, what are you? The Norwegian cyborg scored twice against West Ham in the first half and completed a hat-trick at the end of the game. Seven goals in three appearances. Now that's a monster. Arsenal controlled everything against Brighton and took the lead thanks to Havertz's strike, but after the break, Declan Rice got a second yellow and was sent off. The entire second half was dominated by Brighton's attacks, with Joao Pedro bringing the Seagulls a point as a result. Eric Den Haag bragged a lot about the trophies he won with Man United, but their performance in the Premier League leaves much to be desired. The legendary Casemiro, who made two disastrous blunders and was replaced at halftime, had a particularly disappointing performance against Liverpool. The Reds easily secure their victory, with Luis Diaz's brace and Salah's goal cementing the Manx defeat. Victor Osman did not leave Napoli in the summer, nor did he train with the team, so Antonio Conte no longer counts on the Nigerian. Osman was even omitted from Napoli's squad list for the Serie A season. According to Gianluca Di Marzio, this is the way Napoli bosses are letting Osman know that he should leave the Parthenopians in the near future. He could still move to one of the Saudi Arabian clubs, where the transfer window remains open until September 7th. Napoli's sporting director Giovanni Manna commented on Osman's situation. Osman decided not to play for our club anymore last year. We tried to help. So there was a negotiation, but the deal didn't happen. The plan on both sides remains to part ways, but I do not think he will go to Saudi this summer. Manna said, Deco is considering leaving Barcelona soon. He is disappointed with the economic constraints and the fact that the president has not been able to fulfill his promises. Throughout the summer, Deco hoped that Blaugrana would get back to the one-to-one -one rule, but that never happened, which is why they only managed to land Dani Almo in the summer. But right after this piece of news popped up, Barcelona issued an official denial. According to the club's statement, Deco is fully loyal to Laporta and plans to work out a contract that lasts until the summer of 2026. Mohamed Salah became one of the stars of the match against Manchester United, but after the final whistle, he shocked everyone with his statement. The Egyptian made it clear that this season is likely to be his last at Liverpool. As you know, it's my last year at the club. I just want to enjoy it. I don't want to think about it. No one at the club has talked to me about a contract yet, so I say it's my last season. New deal? It's not up to me, but no one has spoken to me at the club. In the summer, there were reports regarding the interest in Salah from Saudi Arabian clubs, which were ready to make him one of the richest players in the world. Chelsea have officially announced the most unexpected transfer of the deadline day. The Blues have signed Manchester United's stellar winger Jadon Sancho, whom Eric Den Haag did not rely on. The agreement includes an obligation to buy the player for 20 plus 5 million euros. However, it will only be obligatory if Chelsea manage to finish in the Premier League's top 14. I wanted to join Chelsea because it's an iconic club. My idols growing up were Didier Drogba and Frank Lampard, and now I have the opportunity to play for this club like them. It's a great feeling, Sancho stated. At the post-Liverpool press conference, Eric Den Haag gave quite a sharp response to a journalist who suggested that the Dutchman might be sacked. Are you sure? I don't think so. Or you wouldn't win trophies like we did and beat big opponents. I'm sorry for you. After Manchester City, we won the most trophies. I'm sorry for you. In the two years, we took two trophies. At the end of the season, we will see where we are. I know where we will be at the end of the season. We will go for trophies. Athletic Bilbao and Spain international Nico Williams has explained why he will spend the season at his boyhood club, despite Barcelona's strong desire to secure his signature. My heart is Bilbao, but nobody knows what will happen in the future. It's always good when big teams want you, but I always said that I wanted to be here. If there was anything, it was from my agent, but I wanted to play in Europe with Bilbao. Nico's contract with the Lions runs until the summer of 2027. 